Stevenson Falls, 79.57 to Avernia here tonight at Owings Mills Gymnasium. Glenn Clark with Coach Gary Stewart. Coach, your uh, team had uh, a lead there to start the second half, and you had played a pretty good first half of basketball. Um, is there anything in particular that you can put on and, and sort of say, here's where things are going wrong when we get the second half of games? Well, it's just not the second half, Glenn. Uh, today we, we uh, stayed in there for the first 20 minutes, but we don't close the half out well, so we give up a three at the end of the half. Um, go in, it's a one possession game, and then don't have a good response out of halftime. Uh, but if you watch this warm up in the second half, um, those things lead into other things. And, and um, you know, we're turning the ball over way too much, and so that's a recipe for disaster. We're just not sound on any side of the ball. We don't take care of the habit pass defensively, so our rotations aren't where they should be. It's not for lack of effort in terms of what we're practicing and trying to address through film and those type of things, but uh, they're not showing up in the game. Uh, we're playing way too fast uh, offensively and, and, um, and not, not sharing the ball real well. Would it be fair to call it maybe a snowball effect that a couple things have gone wrong for you, the guys, this season, and all of a sudden you look up and you know one loss becomes two, two losses become three, and that you know it, unfortunately sometimes it's easier for guys to kind of hang their heads a little bit and 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 lose sight of of what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, the, the real elite teams um, on the collegiate level, they're able to play through um, offensive challenges, and so their energy doesn't uh, wane on the defensive end. Uh, where we are right now is, is uh, there's some challenges offensively, and then that uh, permeates our whole entire. Um, team and so now the defensive energy is not there. Kind of stood stood around and watched in the second half, um, and um, we just weren't weren't assertive. But a lot of that is because we we don't have offensive success. Whether we turn the ball over, uh, get some um, calls against us, or uh, miss some shots that we think we should make, and then. The next stage of that is that we start to try to take some tough shots to try to get back in the game instead of methodically working our way back and staying with things. And trying to take like a twenty-point shot instead of just taking the, the shot you're supposed to. Yeah, right? yeah, and I don't, I don't, I don't blame our guys. You know, it starts with me. So, um, you know, I've got to get it corrected, and, and to date, I have not been able to. Uh, but um, you know, our guys are, are working at it. I, we just don't see the fruit, fruits of our labor in the uh, in the games. They're, it's not showing up well in the games, and it's certainly not for long periods of time. Coach, I'd be remiss. Uh, obviously, it's been a really difficult week in the entire world of basketball, and you're someone who has roots uh, out in California, and I'm, I'm sure it's been a tough week for you too. But can you just share a couple thoughts on, on Kobe Bryant and what he's meant to this game and he's meant to everybody who plays the game? Yeah, well, well first, Glenn, I want to um, – speak to everybody uh, that lost their life uh, in that uh, crash you know it's um you know it's, it's an emotional deal and the families you know you feel for everybody involved and and kobe was such a uh, an ambassador for the game and um the things he, uh, that that really were um you know, exciting uh, about Kobe moving forward is that he was becoming a much more um, well-rounded guy. He's always been an exceedingly bright guy, speaks five languages, and uh, but he was reaching out and helping people. I mean, you, know, you look at the Pro Bowl and Deshaun Watson's broken up because that's a guy that he's been in communication with. Uh, Sabrina, the best women's basketball yeah. player at Oregon, um, you know, his tentacles touched so many people, and and uh, he was not an ambassador for just the United States, but he was a global ambassador for basketball, and it's it's really incomprehensible, really. I mean, you you know, every day you you. you really hope it's not true and you think I'm, I'm in a bad dream and um, you know I don't think any of us have really come to grips with it yet but um, again um, my my heart um, is broken and uh, condolences obviously to the all the families that are affected. Coach I appreciate those words and we appreciate taking the time we'll talk to you next time. Thank you Glenn. He's Coach Gary Stewart I'm Glenn Clark GoMustangSports.com.